Hello everyone, Speedy Man here. Welcome to this stream. We are going to be playing here and continuing our run here playing as Ramses the Second. So we are working our way through the beginnings of an early stage Golden Age. So we have ourselves a pretty solid Golden Age to get going with. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of get things building along. So first things first, we're going to have to kind of like think about what our game plan for this stream is. And what we want to do is continually kind of just building a lot of this infrastructure that we have, which we have quite a bit done so far with a lot of these builders we've gotten. We have some other work we want to do, so we are going to need to build some mines, build some infrastructure in these northern cities and other cities, and really get moving along. We have quite a ways away until we could be really caught up with the AI, so we really need to get to work on that regard. What we'll do is we will consider our position. Eventually, I would like to set up a war down south here. It's going to be quite a while from now. We actually are able to get this city, which is good. Um, two, three. You know what? A city here could actually work uh, because of the nature of that city. I could actually just simply get that set up over here and then get utility from those other tiles. So that, that could work. Not too bad. You know, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, getting a 3-3 three, a three, three tile for that city right there, that's going to be a huge bonus because we can get Petra much faster. I see somebody has joined the stream. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Alright, so we have more of these troops that we're going to be bringing down south. We want to have some units available, particularly so that way when eventually later in the game we decide to start a war, we are quite a long time, a long distance away and how uh, our science is not developed yet. Of course, we've had a lot of bad hands dealt to us this particular uh, game state. So we're just kind of making do with what we have, and we are kind of actually doing okay. Uh, we've got ourselves a good position to work with, so we're getting there. First of things we could do, I'm going to actually head over there. I want to start building some farms, getting things kind of moving along, get some more food output, kind of consider what our options are. Go here, build that up. Now we have certainty here of Johannesburg. So with certainty of Johannesburg, we should be able to get to the city's plus one production for every improved resource type, and then industrialization will make it plus two. So what that means is, for example, that's a resource type that we are getting extra production out of that is going to be helping. So that will definitely be useful, and we will continue making our way through. So it's looking good so far. We are already beginning Yurite Akali, yep, so we are 53 turns away, so we are a good ways away from getting that done, but it'll be nice to have. I'm going to go ahead and switch that over. Should be a couple turns faster, three turns faster. Good. 14 turns until that commercial hub is done. I'm just basically primarily focusing on a few things in this particular setup here. Uh, we are going for a culture victory, so our goal right now is to be developing different wonders. Of course, Petra is an absolute must-have wonder for this city here, otherwise the city is basically dead on its feet. We are also trying to get more of these commercial hubs up and running. We have a couple so far, but we're trying to build more. That way we have a nice competitive setup, we can have quite a few trade routes eventually, and then kind of just go from there. Continuing on with the snowball as well as we can. There's normal land. There's normal. Yeah, unfortunately, this position here with Taurus Del Pen, um, not terribly great. It's not bad, but it's, it's not great either. Most of those tiles are all tundra, so it's one, two, three. One, two, three. Be quite expensive to buy. Yeah, I'll have to just let that naturally expand, to be honest. to do production that will actually complete that i'll do those chops that way we get that moving along and then what we'll do is i will buy a granary in the city we have plenty of growth potential we'll get a monument moving and then of uh, let's see here afterwards we could actually do some industrial zone logistics 
see, I'm not too worried about setting aid. So what I might just do is do for the workshop afterwards. So let's do this into that. Looks pretty good for us. The fact is, is that we have good pressure here in this region here. So we've got this city under control. Um, ideally, we can take this city. That would be really good for us if we can get that city. So I'm hoping that we can eventually take that. That would be a very good take for us to have. Theodora's friendship expired. Not a problem. I'm going to go ahead and take a look here at open borders. Here we go. Alright. Not super good area right there, but still workable. want to build a couple farms here. I definitely would like that for our capital just to get a little bit more pop growth. More pop growth would be good. We're about to get more population here, so that's going to up the pressure a little bit. Position's looking good there, so that's not a problem. I may even consider eventually, once we have some more faith to work with, I may buy a missionary, send that over here, and that would actually convert the city a little bit more as well, as it would also actually put more religious pressure and physical loyalty pressure there. So that's something we want to consider as well. Sending aid there would take some time. No one's really sending aid, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for an opportunity here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Actually, you know what? No, it'd be actually faster if I just did this and send one gold. That'll move us up into first. It's a bit of a cheeky thing, but we'll take advantage of it. Okay, so with that position, we lose a couple gold. We get some food out of that. I want to grow a little faster, so that's good. The more pop growth that we can get, the better. I want to try to take advantage of that as much as possible, so getting that moving along will be really important. 17 production in that city, so it's not terribly bad. Yeah, if I were able to... Fine. See, I don't want to chop over here because this area is pretty good, so chopping here would not be great. Actually, I could chop that. That's a pretty good tile. However, um, let's see here. Make that, that for that city. And I'm going to, until that actually gets over there in a couple turns, I'm going to go ahead and actually do this. That way we get a nice amount of food growth out of that. I want to go ahead and try to pop off with the food growth in that city if we can. I'm going to go ahead and bring you into safety for the time being. This looks pretty good, so we're going to leave that where it is. I'm going to go over here. A farm would be good. Go ahead and take a look around the south part of this region just to get some information. Every man should make his. Where is that happening? Oh, that is very good for us. We just got a free night. <laughs> okay, that's we're we're off to a good start. We've got potentially once I consider upgrading this later on, that is potentially three knights to work with. That is actually pretty good. Eventually, trying to go for war, this would actually be very good for us. So I like that. I'm going to avoid upgrading that. Let's go for grants. I would like to get more great people. Just pushing out more great people points. That would be a good way for us to get further ahead. It's not going to show this turn. We're at 8 per turn right now, so that's not bad. Definitely getting fairly competitive. These great artists will be tough to get early on then we are looking good in this regard so we're going to be getting potentially a free trade route a trader as well uh foreign trade routes to the city provide two gold to both cities that's pretty good so i will happily take that right now what we could do is we'll loop up here set that up 
Now, a chop there is 75 production. That would move us about halfway there. So it would save us, let's see here. It would save us about seven turns. A net of seven turns, which is actually fairly decent. That's not bad. Because uh, getting that going would make this city really pop off. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do that. Now, if I were to do it for this city, uh, that would save us about four turns. So it's really not as much. I'm going to go ahead and chop that. There was seven turns right there. Awesome. I'm going to keep that going for population growth, though. I want to try to get that pop growth going. Because if we can get this Petra like, really done and going, we're going to be in a very, very good spot. Lahore was defeated. Not really good, because I did invest, I think, a couple of, like, maybe one or two. May not have invested much into that, so that's probably fine, but not ideal. Getting getting that meteor is really lucky, though, because we just got basically a free unit out of that. That's a good unit to have for free. Yeah, so the rest of that land looks uninhabitable. Maybe there's something over there. We do have an opportunity here to go ahead and have a look at some things we could work on. So, let's see here. Great merchant points would be a nice thing, but that I don't want to be taking away from this. Let's see here. You know, extra housing would be good. We'll put that on. And actually, let me double check something. Uh, Petra is classical. Classical. Okay, good. So it is technically classical. Angkor Wat is not, but that is. So I'm going to actually have to leave that there for the time being. Plus one production. Uh, that is nice. I'll have to come back to, to make adjustments here later on. This would normally be pretty good for us to, to start making adjustments, but for the time being, it's it's not really going to do a whole lot. So I'll just have to leave that as it is for the time being. We do have some deals available. Um, let's see, horses. Good amount of gold. All right, not bad. Got a little bit of gold back there, so that's definitely useful. Now that city is loyal by only so much, so if that governor leaves, it'll be good for us. Now, settlement locations, there's not really... if I go to four. Yeah, I mean, this area is right here, super arid. There's nothing really of good value there for me to set up there, so... I cannot do very much there. Setting that up is good, though, because that's going to give us a little more pop growth. I'm actually going to go ahead and transfer that to this city. Now let's focus on pop growth here. I lost a bit of production. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and take a look here. And we do have the eventual ability to try to get set up with eventually with skyscrapers, with civil engineering. This would be very, very good for us. This would be powerful. It's a good ways away. We are on the way of getting a great merchant. Great artist is a bit unattainable currently, the current game position. Uh, we don't have a lot of faith generation, and more importantly, the other AI are quite ahead there, so I'll just have to continue working on other things and just do that passively. While we're at it, let's go ahead and collect open borders. Get utility out of that. And there we go. Now, this is a 3 food tile. That would become a 3 one, one. And we have a look again at the Sphinx. If it's built on floodplains, if it's next to a wonder. Well, that'll be next to a wonder. So next to a wonder, that is going to give us two faith. So 
actually not a bad spot there. It's going to give us a little bit of extra faith as well. So uh, eventually that'll, as long as we can actually build Ankle Run, does get sniped like a lot of other wonders we've been working on. Um, I would say that that would give us a 3-1-3 tile. So that's actually not bad. And it looks like the land ends there. Okay. How much of a... Yeah, this would be a bit far out of the way. Six turns. Uh, let's see, eight turns. Yeah, that's out of the way. I'm not going to be able to commit to that, so that's fine. I'll need to make my way back over here. That take a long time, but still, that is okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. We have a theater square being worked on there. So that is okay where it sits. We already have a Sphinx in that spot. I do a Sphinx there and a Sphinx there. I could make that work. Gives that a little bit of extra value in the long term, because if we can get that Petra, that, that Petra is just going to make this like really insane. This whole area is going to be, be so much more habitable for us to like develop into. We got the commercial have done. Excellent. Uh, we're going to go ahead and buy the market. That's going to save a lot of tempo for us long term. And what we'll do is we are going to look and see... Okay, so we're able to get a little bit of tempo taken off of these things. And what we'll do is work on that. Granary and Monument. Got plenty of loyalties, so we're good there. Kotoku in, not a problem. Of course, Tamar is being difficult from a religious standpoint, so that is going to be a bit of a concern. So I am going to eventually need to pump out some religious pressure as well. That is 160, so it's a bit expensive, so we're just going to have to keep saving up. Every time I hear that, it's just like, I kind of cringe for a moment. Mexico City. We have been put in already. Set a trade route. Not likely going to be happening for extended period of time. But that is a good one. Regional effects from IZs, water parks, and entertainment complexes go three tiles further. It's definitely useful. Not a bad thing to meet more of the city states. That's eventually going to pay dividends in the long term. Here we go. Our way over, that looks like up oh, there's America. Good to know. Finally, in a position where we can do proper exploration now that the barbarians are all dead, we can actually like play properly and get to like move around the way we want. So, this is really good for us. It's about time that we, we have some positional uh, movement in our favor, so I like that. We'll leave that to do as it does. Much I could do with that city in, in my current moment. that it's gonna give us a little bit of culture but it's more more specifically beneficial for us just because of the uh, things we could work with there giving us a little boost of culture is maybe a turn or so or maybe half a turn it all helps if i can get both petra and Angkor Wat, that's going to help us a lot to push into a normal the age of era. i do want to try to get a normal age if i can we just wear festivals done good that is going to get taken but we're in a good spot to be able to push towards the next one and that's looking good we're going to be getting that as well all 
Alright, and we're going to be getting that in a couple turns. So, this is good. We've got good natural pace with great merchants. That's good. That's going to provide us good gold economy in the long term. Uh, let's see here. Let's go into a round of theater square prayers. Or theater square prayers. I always say prayers. That'll just give us a little bit of pressure over here. That's what we can use right now. And we don't really have too much to work on. Yeah, let's have a look. We have plus four, so we're doing pretty decently there, actually. And no one's got that available. We're getting a little bit out of time from City State, so that's good. We're getting that from Anshan. in favor for it so I could be able to put a tiny bit of gold. I have one gold put into that so that's useful. I'm going to wait a little while before I put any gold into this one though. And while we're at it let me go ahead and get open borders with Teddy. Be pretty cheap. It's gonna cost us a bit in gold, but it's gonna be overall resource benefits because of the uh, nature of the amenity system. And so basically with the amenity system, we're gonna be able to get additional yields throughout our empire, little by little, so that will help. So I wanna go ahead and pick those up. Basically, those are very cheap, so I'm okay with that. First of all, this is looking better, so our infrastructure is looking good. A couple turns away from Petra, so if we can get this, we do it. Another wonder got completed. University of Sankor and Kotoku in. Okay, so good. We got two great people. Excellent. It's another boost to our Gara score that puts us 15 away. Excellent. Echo over here very useful. We're going to go ahead and set that up. We now have four trade routes available to us. So that is very, very nice. Let's see the ability for that one. Uh, let's see here. Increase the trade capacity by one, and then foreign trade routes provide more gold to build the city. So eventually from our capital, we can send trade routes out, like outbound, and that could be useful. So not a bad thing. So we'll go ahead and buy one missionary just so we can like basically preserve where our religion sits so it doesn't get completely deleted. Petra is a We've brilliant display. Petra. Of the four characteristics oh man, that of is human. super huge for us. This city now actually can grow. Oh man, that's so good. Now, if there happens to be a Nazca still in this game, that's even better. So I am really kind of banking on that because getting a Nazca would be really insane. Being friendly with Tamar wouldn't be bad. I have an alliance. I would say religious alliance would be good because I do not want her religion continuing on with what they're doing. And basically just because of the fact that they're kind of being an annoyance, I'd rather her not be attacking our religion. Also means I can basically work on the other religions around and that would be a safer route for us. So this is good. We have a decent sized military, 200 military strength, over 150, so that's good. Uh, let's see here, that city is 5.5 oil, so it's, it's oil by a good bit. Very positive on amenities, so that's very, very good. I'm actually really happy. So now what we could do is, let's see here, can't build an aqueduct at the moment. That's unfortunately, I kind of placed that in the spot that would be blocking an aqueduct. Now we can work on this. Commercial hub. Commercial hub in this outer region wouldn't be bad. Uh, because like a commercial hub somewhere in this further area and then another one 
or at least another district of some kind being pushed here would be useful. So I have to kind of think about that. Let me go ahead and do this. Buy that for 110. Swap that over. Then do that. That way we can get value out of that. We can eventually build a commercial hub out of that city. I am going to first focus on theater squares. Now what we also want to be doing is because we've got we just got humidism this past turn, we're going to be needing to focus our gold supply heavily towards art museums. We need to be getting as much of that as possible. So let's focus on getting a good amount of gold because we're going to need every bit of that. I'm 40. Good. I think we can buy some of this stuff with faith, assuming we have the religious uh, presence there. We're 70 gold away, so we'll just wait till next turn to buy that. So we're in a good spot there. This is good. Things are starting to shape up now. If we can get both Yui Teo Gali and Angkor Wat, we'll be in a very, very good spot. Because Angkor Wat's going to give us population in all of our cities. So all seven of our cities will be very strong population-wise. And then what we'll be able to do is then continuing on with our growth. So this is looking good. Ah, here we go. So oh, swear not go ahead and do this. Next turn we'll get set up. And can't move them this turn. Okay. Okay, so this is good. Now, we know both of the wonders we're working on are not of this era, so we can get rid of that card for now because it's not going to be actually helping us at all. Now, we will go ahead and consider either putting this on, or I would say Medina Quarter would be a good one. Get some more housing. I would like more housing in our cities, especially like our capital could use more, uh, this city could use more. More housing developments that we could be doing here the more pressure we could put on this city. If we can eventually take this city, this would be a really good way for us to assert pressure. Anchor Watt under construction. Good to know that they're working on it, although we do have a good, uh, a good lead or not. in that regard. Seven turns away, so we are looking pretty strong there. Convert that. And then we're going to send these last two conversions over to this city. That will help bring some of the pressure our way. We'll just need to focus on pumping out population growth. Mm. Last I checked, we have a religious alliance. You should not be attacking me. Seven girls were chased by Papa bears. Uh, the bear. Wow. Dude. Seriously. Like... America got like the god star, dude. Like look at look at his build. Like this is ridiculous. We'll head over this way. So I assume that their units can attack us, despite the re the religious alliance, but they can't go and convert our cities, is what it seems to be the case. Another population right there. Up around here. And we should be able to convert the city. And that'll put us in a good spot. Let's see here. Marshall Hub is now complete. Good. So, Thebis, let's go ahead and get that art museum. Excellent. So our culture output's actually not looking bad. Uh, 74.6 per turn, that's actually not bad. So we're starting to become a little closer to in line with the other AI. Even some of the smaller ones, that's not a problem. We're starting to catch up. So this is a good stage for us to be doing that. This will allow us to really kind of just shoot our way past the lower to midfield characters and start pushing into like properly into the midfield now. So this is good. Uh, this is a long time away, so we're going to basically, I'm going to be buying a lot of these things with gold. So I'd rather focus on doing some of the stuff with, ideally with gold. It's going to be the fastest way for us to get that growth. I was ready to buy that. Uh, 
Doesn't value that. Does value that. Looking pretty good. Please, please, Civilization Six Gods, just let us get Anchor Watt. Please. All right, the chariot has finally arrived. That means we're gonna have four heavy cavalry units, which is actually really good. So once that heals up, eventually, we go bottom tree into nationalism. Get set up with some pretty decent uh, military cores. Be good. Not a good move. I'm surprised I didn't convert the city over. I should have. That's fine, though. We're looking pretty good there. Holy set prayers, that's good. That is putting good pressure into this region, so it is potentially converting one or two civilizations, or civilizations, citizens across the civilization, so it's good for us. And uh, it seems like, in this case, religious colonization, not super good for us, other than just the fact that these other cities have gotten at religious pressure, so it's a little helpful, but it's not very good, though. So I could have picked a better one. Things you learn. I would never have actually learned unless I actually used it and tested it out. Now we know for sure that's just a, a super bad one. Alright, we are 10 air score away, so we are 20 turns away from the next area, but 10 away, so pretty good for us. Cross this river, make our way around this way, actually... That's a mistake. Now I see this area, this is pretty um, not good for movement. Tower Palace. Uh, that's a long build, so that's not really something I want to do. Conservatory could be very good, actually. Uh, because that would actually be a good thing for us to eventually get set up with. Once we get more population growth, like especially if we can build that Angkor Wat right there, What's going to happen is that's going to provide us an opportunity in some of the cities here to potentially go for like a garden here. I could place like a garden like over here and get all of these tiles over here very, very heavily boosted in terms of their yield potential. So let's see here. This looks good here. So all these tiles will be boosted in appeal a little bit. Now, if I were to find Nazca lines or do something that could allow us to get some appeal in the desert, that would also be very good. We shall see. It's not likely, but it could be useful. What is the next great merchant going to be? Renora's closed borders. Greats three envoys at the city-state. Why stop that? Great scientist points. Don't really care too much. Naturally producing a lot of great writer points. And we are naturally getting good great artist points as well now. So this is good for us. So we're actually next in line to get that. Uh, that is going to be quite strong for us. So we weren't able to get that great artist one. That's fine. We obviously already have the great merchant boost. So that's good. We can get, uh, let's see here. I must say great engineering. Um, we can eventually work on great engineers. But for now, it's not a major priority. Bolshoi wouldn't be a bad one for us to eventually curtail into. Once we get civil engineering, I would like to go further down into this tree. Uh, because then if we can get this musician points, that would be very, very powerful for the later game. Uh, Grand Opera is actually not as good as it looks like. That's the funny thing about it. It looks like it would be good for you, but it's really not all that great. It's a very mid one. Uh, Machiavellianism, uh, I would say definitely... Wouldn't be a bad thing for us to get a spy, because that way we can get some gold in the long term. Triangular trade, not a bad decision as well. Let's go ahead and actually get some more trade routes, shall we? So let's see here. Traders are going to cost how much in... Uh, 155. And 310 gold. So that's a bit on the gold side. Bank is quite expensive. That's one turn away from being done, so that's fine. Stuff is fairly expensive. Is there anything we can... Uh, where are we getting niter from? Oh. Is that from here? No. Actually, it is. Right here. Because uh, niter, in this case, is providing a little bit of... Uh, it's, uh, I think, one food and one production. So, interesting. 
Twice our fair is now done in our capital, so that's good. That's providing us a little bit of extra faith to work with for next turn. The next thing we want to be working on... Ajma Hall would be pretty good for us. Temple of Artemis. That's... Uh, let's see here. Plantation, pasture, and camps provide amenities. Extra housing. Oh, there's two plantations right there. One of those. If I built that there, that would be one, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Honestly, that would actually potentially be a very nice TOA. I'm going to go ahead and just build that. Nobody else is building that, surprisingly. I'm just going to go ahead and try to snipe that, because that could be a very, very cheeky thing for us to pick up. Five free amenities, as well as getting ourselves a nice position to work with. I like that. Uh, duplicates of the Chosen Luxury. We're going to pick Sugar, of course. Coffee grants no, and we did get this. Good, so having seen a non market that is going to benefit us a nice little bit. I want to go ahead and do a quick curtail into diplomatic service, then go into civil engineering, and then we'll kind of make our decision afterwards. I want to go ahead and try to get a spy set up if we can, because that would give us a little bit of tempo for some things we want to work on. It's not bad right there. You know what? I can live without the science. I'd like to specialize ourselves a bit more on what we're trying to grow. We're two turns away from Anchor Wat, 30 turns away from Huey Teo Kali, 8 turns away from TOA. So getting a couple more wonders this era would definitely push us closer to the uh, minimum for a normal age, which is what we want. So that's really strong. A TOA is actually really good, though. I, I should have checked and seen... And ch like just basically just check to see if that was there uh, that is available and as soon as i saw that i was like okay we kind of have to build that now because that's an excellent opportunity for us to grow for people wise we are looking good so i'm pretty happy there I'm not too worried about uh getting a lot of great engineers right away we have a ways to go before we can be competitive in that regard so that's fine uh we can build a market so i'm gonna go ahead and actually buy a set market and that's going to provide us a nice benefit. We are also going to go ahead and we're going to focus on a water mill because that's going to give us a little bit of extra yields in this city. Um, what we'll do, though, is afterwards, once we get that done, we'll be able to buy another art museum and start filling up our setup with that. While we're at it, we can actually take a look and see if any are available. Uh, great work of our sculpture it's uh all right it's a portrait a landscape two different religious pieces that would be good actually to get um before i consider buying stuff Sculpture. So we're going to be getting sculptures. So we could potentially get a sculpture, but the problem is going to be there aren't a lot of other sculptures to pick up at this stage of the game. But we could make some deals for a another, like a great work of some kind. So th there could be benefits out of it, but it's not that it's without benefit. It's just it's kind of it's going to be it's going to be difficult to invest in a way that's going to benefit us. Looks like we're going to be getting that, so that's good. No one's invested into that, so I'm going to go ahead and put one gold into this. Here we go. End our turn. They're looking good there. We have a couple envoys available. I would have, I would definitely like to get envoys pushed into Mexico City. Absolutely for sure. So, 
in a few turns, once we have it available to us, we'll have to move some of our diplomatic cards around. Uh, because I would say we could take Charismatic Leader off, put some other ones on, and then kind of go from there. What I might do is, since this one's available, I'm actually going to do this into this, then back into that secure. It's a pretty good one in the long term. A war is going to be hard to set up, so I'm going to have to think about like what we have available to us. Um, Bolshoi would be a good thing long term, so we'll eventually push to that. The temple is surrounded There's by Angkor a moat. Okay, this is huge. That's a big breakaway for us because that's just given us one population and one housing in all seven of our cities. Now we have the opportunity to be able to start setting up some more things around our empire. For instance, setting up another commercial hub. A really good breakaway for us. Focusing on Huey Tail Cali because that's going to be giving us that amenity. Uh, let's see here. It's going to give us a couple amenities actually. And then one food and one production in all lake tiles within our empire. That's also quite good because as we fill in more of this region here, this area is going to become even more hospitable. And that will be very strong for us. We got another great person. Ah, there we go. We will wrap around here. Let's go north here. Make our way over. I'm really happy. You know, it looks like at the moment things are starting to look up for us. We are on what I would call the up and up. No, that's not somebody I want to trade with. Fifteen gold per turn, that's very good. It's a lot of extra gold that we have, and we also can go ahead and just quickly take this off. We are going to put on Diplomatic League. Only need to have it on for just a moment. But that envoy is very, very useful. So what we'll do, city states, go there, plug two in. That way we neutralize Susan T there. Get some error score out of that as well. So again, we're just trying to kind of focus on error score. Just make sure we're getting lots of general things in our empire built. We're going to get three error score out of Teddy OA there. So this is very, very strong for us. Uh, let's see here. Ooh, we have the opportunity to build something. I would say a government plaza would be a pretty nice decision. Question is... Government Plaza right here would be good because that will help with that as well as we can set something up. Let's see here. That's plus three. Government Plaza here would be good. We can chop that for food. Okay, that's this is going to work. So Government Plaza, you will go there. We'll just actually focus on building that since we have Angkor Wat done. Taj Mahal is a good one to build, but I'm not ready to focus my infrastructure for that, so I'm going to wait that out. Alright, quick drink of water. We can no more have there's theology, so there's another uh, envoy for us, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and take a look here at some things that we can invest into. Not that one, not that one. Could actually go ahead and pick that one up. Or I could go looking for other spots for us to head to. Uh, let's actually do a well first. Great deal for uh some sugar. There we go. Let's do sculpture. I know you have one. Uh, 
I don't see how that... Okay, I'm not trading with him. Good to know. It looks like I'm going to have to sell that. What in the world? What do you mean none of you guys want that? What the heck? That is wild. Okay. All right, that's good. That's information for us to work with. We shall go ahead and we get another one in. Just keep doing that, getting more culture out of that and tourism as well. Always, always helpful. Uh, let's see here, Pingala. I would say the next thing we want to do is eventually put into that. Although Curator is going to be a pretty good one just from the standpoint of culture output and tourism output, so it's going to be good for us. I think. Uh, here yeah so we're starting we're starting to make the come up here now so we're, we're getting a little by little better shaka has the most culture output so we eventually need to find shaka he's uh okay he's all the way down there so we eventually in, later in the game we'll be sending trade routes and getting sorted for that uh we have plenty of time this era to be doing some of those trade routes so i want to go ahead and actually start that so what we could do is because a trade route down south would be a really good way for us to start developing a position for that. It starts to push out tourism, and that's eventually going to start adding up for us. So, uh, let's see here. One there. And next turn, I'll buy another one. No, I do not want a war. Shaka in the last turn, the very final turn, invested in that. That's fine. Very low investment cost for me, so I'm really not too worried. I will take the very nice vast amount of gold out of that, though. There we go. got lots of gold now this is great uh we're gonna buy another art museum a huge huge benefit for us and we're gonna make a trade route to gazogamu there's nothing really a benefit specifically what it's gonna do we could at least you know set a trade route towards this region because that's going to allow us to get more movement potential towards shaka which will help us so seven gold all right that is giving us a little bit of gold, but so it's it's it's, it's okay, but it's, it's not great. The AI absolutely does not want them. Wow. Alright. So it's definitely looking good. Things are, are definitely looking good here. And usually uh, enlightenment, that's a good one for us. Without any we'll other reason. working on that. In this position, however, oh, okay, so mm, I may consider that just for exploration. There's nothing else in science right now that's going to help us. Because that's a long-term thing. We can't really do much with that right now. We'll go ahead and go into that. And then we'll go back into this afterwards. Because I, I need to explore. Oh, alright. So, let's see here. Now, getting more settlers wouldn't be a bad thing, because I may consider settling some cities over here, just for late game expansion, because there is 
probably going to be even more strategic resources available and getting more of them out and about would actually be pretty good so i could actually go for some settler pushes that that could be a real play actually um this liberalism super useful uh let's see here six turns away how many turns is it going to take to build six turns okay so ancestral hall and that's going to be the play okay that's eight turns away that's that's honestly a that's an option um we, what we will do though is we will take this off we will go ahead and get started on machiavellianism though i want to get started and try to get one spy at least just for information so that we have information available to us we're going to need to go ahead and start focusing on this though we have the potential to get quite a bit of great artist points that will help us a lot and then we will go ahead and plug that in just for the sake of the very nice seven culture per turn don't mind losing that bit of gold this is good so we are almost at a hundred culture per turn so we are actually starting to become in line with a lot of the ai now so this is really good for us this is a very very good position for us so we will continue pushing Let's see here don't really need neither Aha! Okay, finally you value that more. Okay. This works. This- this is very good. That's- that's quite good, actually. Okay. Don't really need much for Amani, so I'm not too worried. Uh, let's see here. Science wouldn't be bad, but we're we're fine. I don't really care too much about like over investing in science. The reader would be good. Um, just getting more output for tourism is going to be good. You can see here with our position, getting a little bit out of time is useful. But more importantly, with this particular graph set of graphs, what this is showing is essentially that we have a major major need. To start developing trade routes because those trade routes to the ai will allow us to start really pushing out more pressure to the other opponents so that's going to be something we want to go ahead and do start that up now we'll get a trade route going from here to there just for that specific reason okay menelik is pretty much hated by everybody so i'm going to, I'm going to avoid anything with Theodora but uh, who has more science you do sir all right it's opportunity for some gold right there oh. and more amenities all right uh, let's see here. The water mill is done, so we're gonna go ahead and buy the art museum here. Get even more of that of that precious, precious commodity that is great writers, or rather great uh, artist points. Let's let's see here. We're at a population, so we have the ability to get another district. So I would say the next district that we want to consider is likely going to be a. I would say an IZ would be pretty strong for us. Diplomatic quarter would be good in a different city. One turn away from TOA. It's not bad. That's not a lot. I would like a garden, actually. A garden would be quite nice. Question is, can I... See, appeal is going to be hard to develop. We do have a 313 tile, so 
The reason I say that is a garden in the capital is going to be hard to invest in, specifically because the appeal throughout most of the capital area is really bad. Um, now... A preserve here would make this area very, very powerful. Also, a, a garden could work. Plus three garden. that would just give me a lot of raw culture and gold output, which is good. You know what? I'll do that. That's going to give us, in the long term, that's going to be better for us. So I'm going to go ahead and invest in that instead. I'm fine with doing that. that that's not a problem for me. Uh, we have the water mill complete in this city. So just as we did before, we did buy that art museum. I'm going to go ahead... And I would say here, in this position, I'm going to eventually invest in more holy sites later in the game, but I'm not really too concerned right now. I would like us to set this up here. In the industrial zone, even just a plus one is going to be good. The more the merrier. Water, flood. When I saw the house of our vessels large may vent. Alright, two away, that is huge. Our capital has 15 housing now, so we have tons of housing to work with. Not to mention the fact that we also have the opportunity to do some good developments for our overall empire. Um, thing is, right now, most of these areas are low appeal, so preserves and gardens are unfortunately, I would say, out of the question. That leaves us with a couple options here. We could do a diplomatic order here if we wanted. That would be a good one. Uh, actually, wouldn't be a bad one, especially because our capital is going to be a target of espionage later in the game. So we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, that'll prepare us for the later game. Now, we can get that started, but I am going to focus on a spy first. Actually, do we have more production in the city? Eh, a little bit. We'll do that first. I want to get a spy up and running because getting a spy over here and potentially like if we were to get some good promotions and then dump and I would say dump the uh, the governor out of that city that would force that city to a slightly more disloyal position and we could actually potentially get a city out of it so an option for us we're gonna have to settle up in that spot for a while let's go to Tbilisi That'll be a good way for us to get a little bit of religious pressure, but more importantly, it's going to also allow us to start developing a trade route into this area. I like this. 108 culture per turn, 52 gold, or 52 science, so we're doing okay. The culture, though, is really what the good thing is right now. We're starting to push closer to the AI. I would say eventually later in the game, we are going to need to invest in great engineers, because some of these good ones are going to start disappearing. That's useful, but not super great. Uh, let's see here. We're doing very, very solidly there. And we got some good points there, naturally, so this is good. We're in the lead for that. Zulu is going to be a threat for that, so we're going to want to try to get as many of these as possible. Ooh, not Madal. Um, uh, that's actually a good one for coastal, like, coastal and, like, naval games. That's very, very good. Districts next to tile or lake provide to culture. And there's only three. Train of musk and men. Well, musk and men, unfortunately, are quite a ways away here. All the way over here. That is a minimum of 16, 18. That's about 20 turns away. It would probably be, probably be easier for us to just simply, uh, <laughs> once we get done with Machiavellianism, we could actually curtail off of that. But that's five turns away. 
Bolshoi Theater is definitely for sure going to be a good one, though, because that'll help kind of push us along a little bit. Not only the fact of that, but also getting great writer and musician points would be good. Getting those two slots. Just basically trying to push out as many of these mid to late game wonders as possible is going to be a good way for us to gain a lot of tempo. So this will be pretty critical for us. One turn until shipbuilding's done so we can start exploring other areas of the map. It's going to be very critical that we can start doing that soon, so I'm going to try to focus on that as a priority. We'll continue trying to make some good gold out of this, though. Thousand twenty three gold. That's good. There we go. I we have confirmed is when it got that we now have a normal age. It's going to take a lot of work to get a gold mage, so I'm not really too concerned. But we can now explore the shallow waters. That's going to allow us to get some information about what's around us, potentially finding Nazca. I'm really hoping Nazca's in this game because that would make this city go from good to, like, really good. It would be insane, actually. Okay. Seven turns. This is definitely going to be a long term play. So, what we'll have to do is I will go further back here. I may go for this just for the sake of getting an envoy. And the reason for that is just so I can basically use this as a way to kind of go back and forth with some of the things that we're trying to work on. So what I'm going to do is, let's see here, we lose 40, we lose 40 gold, actually 42 gold. But what we gain is, let's see here, looks good. Yeah, what we gain instead is the ability to do this. Could take suzerainty of that and now that boosts our culture even more because we have quite a significant amount of these particular uh these particular districts available to us so that's given us two culture there two culture there some other examples will be further to the side here but we'll have another one here that's going to give us culture and just basically getting little bits of culture throughout that's eventually going to provide us culture uh, again, just good things for us. It's gonna give us like 8 to 10 culture, but you know what? 8 to 10 is beneficial. Hello, I see somebody has joined the stream. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Okay, so that's a couple turns away. We're at 129 culture per turn, so we are very much looking pretty good now. We are in a good position compared to, I'd say, uh, about 50, 60 turns ago. We were very much kind of like on life support with the run, and now we were actually we're looking like we have a chance. So for culture victory, this is becoming more and more feasible. So let's keep on looking for things that we can develop. So commercial hub investments, those are always good. So we're getting there with this. We want to be trying to get that one as well. And then I would say, let's see here. We're at four population, so good a good consideration a good option may actually be say a theater square because 
by focusing on FDU square and getting an FDU square, what I could do is get a lot of long-term growth out of that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One seventy-five. Okay, good to know. So next turn we'll buy another trader from the city and we'll do a domestic trade route basically to one of these large cities. I would say likely a trade route down here so we can develop and kind of connect this area. And that's going to allow us to start getting this, this city growing a good bit. We'll focus on the production benefits here. So be good for us. Military is looking okay. That's good. Uh, solid. Five turns. Somebody's... Ah, see, that's good to know. Okay. So we're going to have to get two spies eventually. One to protect this city, because that's, that's a target city. I mean, it's going to be pretty easy for me to see that. Diary of Lady Murasaki. So, allies cannot spy on us. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> would you look at that? Teddy Roosevelt... You little sneak. You little sneaky snake. How dare you take that? Let me give him a gift of one gold. See if I can persuade him a little bit. Well, uh, no. I wonder why we don't have a lot of appealing areas. It just so happens that most of this land here is desert. And the game doesn't reward desert a lot. What a surprise. Oh, look, the Galapagos Islands. Yeah, that's... That's a spot right there. That coast... Nah, it's just ocean. Alright. We're looking good here, so we're going to go ahead and buy another trader. We're up to five trade routes, so this is good. Boss Susan T of a good, Navy is not a... good to know. Let's go ahead and get that back. There we go. Nice little shortcut that we found there. And if you over. Awesome. We'll get that back on. So we did lose a little bit of tempo there, but it's not the end of the world. I do want to eventually get some more wildcard policy slots. So as we eventually try to push from Renaissance era into uh, the Industrial Age, what we'll do is eventually need to get uh, afterwards, after this, Civil Engineering, because I want to get that Governor title there. And the reason is then we can start working our way into getting... Uh, what's going to pop up here in the industrial age, and that is going to give us basically a free wildcard policy slot. That is going to be very, very much needed because we can then focus a lot of our cards more on getting these great artists, great musicians, great engineers, and start getting some tempo actually for that. So that's something of a major priority we need to consider. Looking pretty good here. I would say next thing up on the list, we have 21 great artist points and five there. So we're looking pretty good. We're competitive with the AI. This is what I want to be seeing. This looks good. I'm going to go ahead and actually head over there because getting, getting another luxury could be a nice way to get our gold moved up a little more.
We are at population capacity, so we can't really grow. This would be good for a little more faith generation and a little more gold. Hmm. Domestic route would be better though. I would like that. Akatakan would be better. Just long term would be better for us. So I will make that route start. And we do have the ability to get started with Ancestral Hall. So I'm going to go ahead and actually start investing towards that. Uh, that would actually be a really solid thing for us. So what we'll do is we'll take that off. We're going to lose some, some, lose some culture. It's fine. But what I, want, what I want to do is focus on colonization. Yeah, getting these settlers quickly is going to be good. Because we can immediately start shipping units out. I would like to start getting set up in these other areas so that way we can start bridging this gap here. I want to get set up with more of these cities as well. Getting some cities over here would actually secure this area in advance. But also allow us to start expanding and really start trying to like blow up our population long term. So let's get started on that quest. I'm going to bring some units out and about into this area just as a protective mechanism. We do have a governor's title available now. I'm going to wait a little bit because we are going to be continuing to spend a lot of gold. So it is very, very important that we get set up here. Good. So we have that. Teddy in this game is just not a friendly person, it seems. Let's go ahead and start securing this area. That way we can get set up here. We have a lot of gold now, so we're looking pretty, pretty solid. So it looks like in the next few turns we should be able to buy, I, I would say, two more settlers. And two more settlers, along with the one that we already have on the way, is going to allow us to expand even more. Finish off the era with some good expansion, and that's going to really help us move along. We also have the opportunity to get an intel agency. That's going to give us a free spy, so I am going to be going for that. Free espionage is very important, as well as the uh, our spy operations having a higher chance of success. Because then I could have potentially, basically another spy eventually develop into a very, very good domestic spy to protect Akatakin. And then eventually, as we get more and more, then we can really get going. So, making good inroads. Mm -hmm. I will happily take an embassy. Look at all those battles. Actually, ooh, that actually puts that city in a more neutral state. That's not good. I'm going to head up north here. Make sure nothing spawns. The last thing we need in this game right now is another barbarian camp, because that would absolutely suck. Let's see here. Two, three, four, five. That's in range of some good stuff now. So the question is, what's the appeal look like? Now, if I were to develop a ton of forests over here, I can make a very, very good forest, uh, like forest-centric city, but that's going to require conservation, and that's a good ways away. So, in that case... Hmm. 
that looks like that's going to be cut off there, so I'm going to make my way to the water. But good chance it's going to be slightly cut off, so I'm going to have to be careful. I don't have any other deals that are available, or at least anything that's good. Obviously, I'm not going to be doing that deal that's worthless. It'd be giving him much more of a benefit that's going to be helping me. Oh, hey, Will. No, welcome. How's it going, man? It's been a while. It's good to see you, dude. Long time no see, my man. Glad to see you in the stream, and thank you for joining. Let's see here. That's looking good there. First of all, this is coming together, so our very, very cursed run is actually starting to uncurse itself. Happy to see that. I am going to need to... Uh, get over here and then cross into the west side of that water. Yeah, definitely. It's been a good bit. Uh, yeah, things have been good, man. It's uh, it's been busy. You know, I I, I moved to Canada a couple months ago, uh, so it's been a heck of a process. But I'm uh, basically got started with college, and basically just getting a couple different channels going again. So obviously this is the main channel, but uh, my Rocket League channel's been kicking off and doing better. So I've been I've been working on that channel as well. And I'm just kind of like just enjoying the process, you know, and getting used to getting things going again streaming. So it's it's a lot of fun. And streaming is a lot of fun. I'm actually enjoying the process of streaming. Um I do have uh from this particular run, the Ramsey's the second run, uh another stream. Uh, unfortunately there's gonna be a bit of an episode skip because I unfortunately streamed to the wrong channel before, so I had to delete the uh the VOD. But basically uh and that and what happened in that stream was just basically a lot of cursed stuff where a ton of barbarians almost killed the run multiple times I actually kind of took out some of my cities and i had to kind of go and roll back a little bit so yeah but things are good man it's good to see you let's go ahead and actually get started here so what would be high percentage Actually, Menelik would be better. I need to look for something that's high percentage. Hmm. This kind of explains the time off in the channel, yeah. Getting started with college after the summer, or is it already? Yeah, it's already going. So um, I'm in my first semester back in college, and uh, I've got a good few years before I can graduate. But yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a good fun start. It's busy, for sure, but it's definitely it's definitely good because it's it's nice to be kind of going again with academics. Oh, we are making that that city disloyal with the governor. That's actually really powerful. Um, can I? Can I take that city? You know what? It's risky, but I'm going to go for it. Yeah, so uh, with college, basically, I, I got started a couple months ago again. And uh, it's been good. It's, it's been busy, but it's definitely been good. Let's see here. Got a garden, so this is good. That's five turns away. This will help make a lot more culture output. And then let's see, the rest of this area is looking better. We do want to try to focus on getting the intel agency though as well. Let's go ahead and get more of these settlers bumped out. Make a nice mid-game push for some settlers. Get these settlers out and about over here. We are losing population in that city, but we'll be able to get population back pretty quickly. So I'm not really too worried. I'm busy, you know, stressful. Yeah, it's a, a bit stressful, but um, it's it's productive. You know, it's it's just been very, very busy. So I've been trying to kind of get in the back of flow of things, you know, essentially, and just kind of make sure I'm working on things consistently. And with the YouTube, with the YouTube channels, it's good. You know, the growth has been better. So I'm, I'm pretty happy, but it's still a long ways away until I'm kind of where I want to be. But um, it's definitely, it's definitely nice. I'm grateful to be able to do it. here. Can't move anymore this turn. I would say, honestly, we could probably start trying to settle more cities here. So we're settling up in this area, in this region here. I would like 
a city there. That way we can start bridging this area out a little bit. Get a city there, a city there. We go to the settler tab. Uh, let's see here. North city here isn't going to be very good, so I'm not really too concerned about that. Although getting a city here and maybe another one over in this region would be potentially viable because then I can get some lake tiles. Lake tiles wouldn't be bad given that we are pushing for Huey Teo Cali. We're going to be getting that next era, actually. All right. Uh, another person's joined the stream. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Okay, so garden positioning is looking good there, making good use of that. Uh, a couple turns away from the diplomatic quarter, that's going to actually give us some nice benefits in the long term, especially because uh, it'll protect us. That could be a problem. Improvement could actually makes very much roads, indeed be a problem. But so I'm going to have to keep an eye on that because if he declares war on us, that's going to be very much bad news bears. I'm going to need to save my gold because I'm going to potentially have a war. And if that's the case, then I'm going to need to get to work on getting more of these heavy chariots upgraded because that will give my military a good, good backing. I have a feeling this is going to be a lot tougher than I would initially want. So I'm going to have to try to be careful here about how I manage this. I'm saving my governor titles though. That way, next era, when it begins, I can go ahead and pop a couple of these into there. Hey, Joey Ramsey's hadn't played Civ in a long while. I think last time I played was when Caesar was new. Oh, wow. So that's definitely been a bit. Uh, Ramsey's is fun. He's he's good if you play like a good infrastructure type build like this. Uh, this can work. Now, this is unfortunately, uh, with the, the way I set it up with the stream is basically like the first... Uh, if you're able to watch the first game, you'll see basically the first one that I saw for the world, like the world state, was basically this, and I just went ahead and just started with it, and it's a pretty, pretty bad world state. Like this area here for the capital is great, but the rest of all this is, other than what I've eventually made here, uh, the rest of all this has been very like not great. We got pushed back by a ton of barbarians, so we've had some pretty significant difficulties, but. And it's been fun. It's just, it's been a bit stressful trying to handle a lot of the barbarian onslaughts for a while. We lost about 25 turns of tempo, so we're finally starting to catch up with some of the AI and we're starting to get better, but it, it was a big setback that really hurt us. Uh, so we're actually, I'm going to go ahead and take off Machiavellianism, at least for now. Uh... Let's see here, Vissel Banking. That's actually not bad because that's going to give us more production in that city. All Wonders, that's good. Uh, Public Works is definitely good. Let's see here. Do that into that. That looks pretty solid. All right, that's not bad. These settlers are well underway, so that's pretty solid. And then next up on our list of things to do, uh, I would say we're going to want to start working on the top trees. So I would say colonialism, that's a good one because uh, primarily, well, the fishing boat, that's going to help a little bit for the one or two fishing boats we have. But more than anything else, uh, Raj is going to be very good because that's going to boost a lot of our yields. And then, let's see here, after Rod, we'll eventually want to work on conservation. Conservation is going to be a super critical one because we want to try to start developing an area. So, like, for example, a natural park right here. A natural park would be excellent. I'll actually go ahead and set that up so I can eventually designate a national park later in the game. That would be a good way for us to get a nice bit of passive tourism there. See, so, yeah, just watching you play and explain, I realize how rusty I am. <laughs> yeah, I uh, don't blame it, dude. I'm, I'm pretty rusty as well. It's, I'm only recently getting back into the game, and it's it's been a while. Uh, Holy War, Cassus Belly. Uh, that is that's an option. If I wanted to go for nationalism, I could actually do that. Um, Operation War. Ooh, War of Liberation actually gives us... Ooh, that gives us no grievances at all, so that could be useful. If that war becomes a potential issue, I may actually try to get the lead on that and take advantage of that. We shall see. 
Astronomy yeah, there's there's so much, man. There's there's so much to the game, astronomy. and it's it's been a long time since I've really like sat down to play it. So it's it's nice to get back into it. You know, I, I took a long break from it because I just wasn't really in the best headspace to be playing it. It's just also the game, the amount of editing that went into it. I think now I'm in a position where I really don't want to be editing much for the game anymore. I would rather just, you know, instead of doing recordings, unless it's like a really high quality recording, like a short video, kind of like the uh, the mod. The mod showcase channel or not channel but the the kind of playlist i was doing uh that's something i enjoy doing because it's it's small edits and it's it's a short video but for the sake of long form content like really long form stuff i'm just going to be streaming it's a lot less stressful it's a lot easier because basically as soon as i post it the vod just goes up and people are free to watch it from there and it's it's better for watch time it's better because you can eventually a long term start developing more subscribers from that it's just better. It's just better overall. I should have been doing that from the beginning. Bit of my bust there. You just kind of learn as you go. Uh, let's see here. Consulate isn't a bad decision. Though I do want to go ahead and try to set up another settler. And that's 980 gold. One turn until the next era. So right now, I actually could... I could go ahead and actually just get myself another settler because that way I can start setting up into more areas. That could be beneficial. I can imagine it's much easier with that format. Uh, but I guess it's stuff like that that you have to find by doing. Yeah, unfortunately, that's kind of the nature of it. It's just by basically uh, trial by error in this case and by playing. I've had enough videos on the channel where, you know, it's the channel has history now. So it's, it's not like it's a new channel anymore. It's a history. Uh, it's got history to it. Yeah, and, and so working on it, exactly. So now that I've done that, I can actually see that streaming Civilization Six is a lot easier. It's a lot less effort. And for my college schedule, it's much easier to just stream it anyway, so I could do that. It's just, it's easier overall. And it's just, it's just kind of made sense, you know, as a decision of just like, yeah, this, I definitely am happy to be doing that because it's just better, you know, streaming is better. And Bulk Corp Return is not bad. I'm fine with just doing that specifically. Uh, I'm actually, I'm studying psychology. So eventually my goal is to go from undergraduate psychology and then in a good three, hopefully not too long, more than uh, three years, but about three years from now, then graduate and then go into sports psychology is my goal for a master's degree. It's going to be quite a while from now, but it's there's definitely some goals that I'm trying to uh, set for myself. Let's see here. Consulate 600 gold. Almost would rather... We have loyalty pressure there, so that's good there. I would almost rather set up in another position. Once we have that third city, I could actually... Let's see, that bank... The... That's just going to help us. So we're going to go ahead and get that. That's going to give us good good benefits long term. So this is solid. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited. You know, it's it's been a difficult first semester, like just going through the whole movement process and just a lot of things in the world have just been kind of tricky. But um, it, it's been it's been a productive, you know, past few months of just getting back into the swing of things and studying, you know. It's fun, but it's difficult. All right, here we are in the industrial era. So that is going to unlock for us the ability to get into this. So now that we have ourselves a bank, I'm also going to make an effort towards secure. 
trying to eventually. Let me actually first see if other great works available. look like it. I was hoping to see Yeah, it doesn't look like there's there's gonna be, as usual, very many uh very many great works of sculptures. So that's okay. I'm just gonna have to work with that. I can actually Try to focus some of the cities on getting that buff going. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do that. So what we'll do... Michelangelo... We'll move that. That's going to benefit both cities. Technically, actually, the same city, but uh, just both positions. So that's going to give us a little bit more culture. What we're also going to do is focus on getting... Purchasing great works of religion. Uh, you both have one. You have one, you have one. Uh, that's fine, that's not super useful there. You have to say psychology broadly now, or for masters you can... Yeah, so basically, yeah, it's, it's so for an undergrad, ad, uh, gr undergraduate degree, let's say more of like a general degree for that. Uh, this is more of like a here in Canada, it's basically the way it works. It's kind of like a it's a bachelor's of art, and then it's a specialization major, is what I'm what I'm targeting. And then afterwards, what I'd be kind of focusing on is uh, let's actually do reform the coinage. There we go. But yeah. So basically, then afterwards, then I can actually go into basically a very specialized field. And then that specialized field will specifically, of course, be uh, a sports psych. So that's that's the goal. That's the plan. It's a good few years away, of course, but it's something that I'm trying to work on and eventually achieve. Mm -hmm. Another alliance. That's going to bring us up to 14... 14 tip of favor per turn. That's actually really solid. Now in two turns, we're going to get Colonialism. What I'm going to do is... Actually, we already since we have that card on, I'm going to keep it on. Because then I could basically start eventually getting cities developed and go from there. So I'm going to leave that card for a while. And it's always good. Yeah, pretty much. It, it's, it's a one step at a time situation. It's going to be quite a ways away, but... I'm trying to take steps towards it so that way I can I can be in a better position long term. Because uh, there's good career opportunities with motorsports, with racing, especially in uh, sports psychology. And I'm wanting to kind of develop myself in that and really kind of go further into that. And let's see here. I don't like got a normal age as well. So I'm going to need to actually... I'm gonna get a missionary. I'm gonna bring that over here and then convert that city. That way I can try to get that city converted. If I can keep that city disloyal in the long term, uh, that'll be good for us. It's gonna be hard to, but it's definitely gonna be important. Um, one turn away from the commercial hub, and then afterwards do that. The building is 600 gold. Let me actually go ahead and buy that because uh, that's going to be really useful. I'm going to go sleep now, getting late here. No worries, man. You have a wonderful night, Will, and it's good to see you, man. I'm going to eventually, you know, within the next few weeks, once I get kind of more fully settled and have like a semester in fully, uh, I'm going to try to start doing, you know, like a more consistent, like once a week stream on Civ. Um, Probably maybe around this time, you know, if you're able to hop on, that's awesome. If not, no worries. But uh, yeah, no worries. 
Um, I'm thinking maybe next Thursday would be probably a, a decent stream time. So I'm going to try to do something like that. All right, man. Well, it's good to see you, Will. And, uh, glad, to, glad to see you in the stream. It's been a long time, but happy that you're doing okay. Yeah, weekly is definitely going to be the play. I'm thinking weekly would be fun because it's low effort. It's a way to get, you know, fairly consistent content out. And that way I can enjoy it and kind of do it at a pace that's that's nice. But thank you, man. Okay, so now that we have that affordable, what we'll do is we'll kind of take a look at things that we can get set up with. So right now... A billion would be good. So let's see how much that benefits Remember us. Remember that politics. Oh colonial. yes, it does. Those are some nice yields. Those are very, very nice yields. Akatakin is getting some great yields now. Excellent. I may even eventually have to consider moving Pingala to Akatakin just because Akatakin is the real proper, like proper city. Wowie, that's looking good. We have five envoys. We have Susan T over a few things. We'll get Susan T back there. That's going to bring us back up to 15. And then... Start doing that. We're going to start getting some good gold out of that. So I want to invest a little bit into that. Now, things for us to work on. Uh, that's eight turns away. Seven, that's eight. So they're both a fair distance away. City there would be good. Small city, but definitely a good city nonetheless. Hmm. I'm gonna say a better city would be here. Oh, I see somebody has joined the stream. Welcome to the stream. Glad to have you. Seven turns away. We'll actually go ahead, and for the time being, we're going to go ahead and take off Public Works, because uh, it's going to be around eight to ten turns until we can get those settlers in place and ready for some cities. So I'm not really too worried about that, but we can. Oh, that's a good one. That's a very good one. We'll take that off, put that one on. That's an excellent card. Eight, eight bonus to a bunch of yields. That's very much going to help us. Also going to help our science. We could, we could definitely use the science right now. So that's not bad. Uh, go into that. And we are now at a whopping 160 culture per turn. We are now actually starting to get close to uh, catching up properly with the really competitive AI there. So this is good. Uh, plus by getting... So the way the tourism overview mod will work here is basically it talks about how by essentially generating, uh, by earning culture, you're actually generating domestic tourism. And so that's going to allow you to eventually develop a good position. And it's very, very powerful. It's very helpful too, because your civilization, your empire is going to need that. Like some potential land for us to check out over there. It's good to know. They're still on, oh, so they're back down to losing loyalty. Interesting. Well, if we can get that city, if we can potentially pull that city, that would be a really good city because the fact is, is that it has a theater square for free with an amphitheater. That's already very good for us. Plus, that would give us a good leading position to eventually, if we were to get a really strong military going. Now, granted, obviously, Metalik is significantly further ahead in science, so that's, that's a, a kind of a difficulty we would have to deal with but this is becoming a lot more achievable for us that is 1160 gold so it's a lot of gold it's a hundred
Statue of uh, Gatamalata. I sold that. Yeah, it's too little value. Well, Industrial Zone is now done in this city, so I would say we can work on the workshop. And I'm going to fairly soon here buy another bank. Because this is a pretty solid commercial hub here. So buy a bank and that will allow us to get even more yields going. So that's something of an option. Let's get that workshop going though. I would like that. Yeah, I don't want to be settling in either of these areas. Those are terrible areas. I've already got a city getting into that spot. We have one going there. One, two, three. Maybe there could work. Forbidden City and Oxford. Those usually get taken anyway, so that's within expectations. Didn't really invest much in that, that's fine. I feel like it would have been a really serious waste of gold. Let's take a look at the north side, and then we'll work our way down. That is still disloyal. First, we need to gain sources. Something you typically want to do is when you have a spy, you want to first gain sources, just so that way you really like just give yourself the best chance of success. Doesn't mean it's guaranteed, but it puts you in a good spot. They have a curious here, so we want to be careful of that. Ooh, that's good. actually don't want to do a military alliance because that would actually potentially rope me into a war that I don't want to be doing so let's avoid that uh, what we'll do though is let's see here we'll get non doll back hmm three for Samarkand would be useful I'm gonna go ahead and head that way because a great like a great artist or not great artist a great merchant there would actually give me some good information to work with start securing an area for us to settle into or they just die in one hit what really with that little health Dude, that makes no sense. How do they have that much damage? Wow, okay, whatever. That's awesome. They just got a bunch of loyalty out of that. That's stupid. Okay, well that means I'm gonna need to get an apostle. Let's go ahead and get a... let's see... Actually, let me, let me get some stuff with gold first. Buy that. Apostles 400. Okay, so three turns, two, three turns from now. We'll get an apostle. I'll bring that apostle down. I'm gonna I'm gonna deal with that because I, I need to get rid of that. That's annoying. Work our way over. Just want to bring a unit over just so we know because again, fog of war is something that goes both ways. Uh, we want to be aware of potentially any opponents that may need may be nearby, so that way we have some information we could work with. 
So, we're looking okay. Now things are looking good. Now, let's see here. 500 gold. That's not a bad one. Zulu is growing a lot, so that's going to be something we need to work on. Okay, so once we get more of these workshops, eventually we can get set up here. Like a workshop there, and then we can plug in that Great Engineer card. Ah, uh, I, almost, I almost didn't see that one on the bottom there. Sneaky, sneaky game. There we go. And we lost urgency of that, so we're going to get that back. There we go. That looks fine. Okay. Consulate's now done, so we're getting a little bit more yields out of that. And it's also protecting us as well, which is what we want. We want to be making sure that enemy spies in our capital are not going to be very good. And then we'll eventually set up in a couple turns, this intel agency that is also going to be very good for us. That's really going to make a high probability that we can actually start affecting the loyalty pressure of this region. Next turn, we can get set up the way we want, so this is good. Let's see, consulate's done, so we can either do a chancery or I actually think it could be a semi-viable option to go for um uh Patel House is not bad. You know what? Let me let me look around first. I knew it. How about Taj Mahal? No active builds visible. Gotta be built along rivers, so... Honestly, a Taj Mahal there, and then... I mean, I could potentially build another city at some point later on and, and then plug in something there, so that could work. Okay, so I'm actually going to just sleep for a couple turns. Although they're getting there a little early, the reason I'm doing that is so that way I can set up something very specific. Let's get there. Okay, the market's done. Excellent. Uh, what we want to do is we are going to buy a bank. So, let's see here. Bank right there is good. The bank there is better. can actually do some industrial zone logistics. I'll go ahead and do a little bit of that. That way we can potentially get some great people points there. Wouldn't mind getting some progress towards that. And then while that's being worked on, we're one turn away from natural history, so next turn I can get this going. Ah, that's right. Let me go ahead and buy an apostle. I'm going to bring that apostle down. We're going to start really working down this religion because that religion's going to need to get very much eliminated if we're going to really get this city converted over to our favor. We basically want to convert that city over peacefully without war. Um, that would be the best case scenario for us. It can all work 
think so. A little bit more air score. We have a lot of air score to cover, though, if we're going to get a decent normal aid. So, do have a work cut out for us. All right, back at Hawken. That's good. Antiquity sites, not really useful. All right. Proselytizer is good because what we could do is potentially throw a lot of pressure down quickly. It also eliminates that religion for the most part. So we'll go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and we will do this. We will take aesthetics off. We will put on public works. Get these other cards. Now recall that we have the ability to eventually get set up here with Al's Minerva. So in a couple turns we can actually get more cards on. We'll do that in a turn or two just so that way we're staying, we're staying efficient with our process. Go ahead and do this. Found a city. And then not only founding a city but also getting to do so with some decent, uh, some decent building available to us. So, first thing we want to do is we will need to get Monument and Granary. That'd be a good tile for us to set up. A lumber mill actually wouldn't be bad, so I may go back and just quickly go into the lumber mill. And then afterwards what we could do is then take a look at what we could do. Big Ben is a long-term thing, but potentially economic policy slot could be very, very useful. I would like that, actually. For now, let's focus on pop growth. And what we can do is... build some farms here. I would say farms would be good so we can get pop population early on. We can get rid of those farms if we need to later on. That I'm not too worried about. This looks good. That settlement there and this settlement here cover this area pretty well. Okay. Now with this file, what we're going to do is we are actually going to go over to maybe like someone like Teddy. And then try to see if we can potentially... Teddy actually... So anybody that we can go after that has commercial hubs. Hmm... Wow, surprisingly, not a lot of commercial hubs anywhere. That, I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie. I'm very surprised at that. I'm going to go ahead and fabricate Scandal, though. That could be super good for me, because that's going to give, give me a lot of, like, potential tempo against the AI. We'll do that. We'll do that. Uh, Intel Agency, now that's done, what we could do is we could focus on the IZ. And while we're at it, here. We can actually go ahead, since we have the banks that we want, and we can see here that extra spike capacity, this is what's really useful. That is the, also that wildcard slot. So now you can see that we have another wildcard slot for free, basically. And what we could do is really, really start trying to push out some great engineer points. We do have a couple, like I think one or two workshops so that's going to start really pumping out some good positional pressure for us and then what we can do afterwards as we'll see uh it's going to be the same for now four but it should go up to like 10 or 12. that'd be a really really helpful increase for us uh the first thing this city needs to be building ideally is commercial hub 
going to be getting population at a decent rate. <laughs> but we want to make that faster. But the wrath of Hoshi There's Huey Tao Kali. The all right. So Huey Tao Kali, very good. Makes all of these lake tiles throughout our empire better. And that's a really good thing for us. It's also giving the city a couple more envoys, which makes the city very, very positive. Or not envoys, sorry. Amenities. So it's very positive. Plus three is very good for us right now. Let's go ahead and focus on that. Let's just keep getting more of this built up. That is already built, so we don't need to worry too much about that. It's going to take some time for that to be beneficial if we were to do anything else with it. There's already a trade route that goes along here. So let's say we want it to... Run it to Thebis would be good. Just trying to see what trade routes could be useful. Yeah, I would say Thebis could be good. Do another one of these. All right, let's really make our way over here. Let's do a spread here. It's gonna get rid of that. That way we don't need to worry about confusionism. That basically gets rid of that for the most part. We'll go down here, do a couple conversions. So we'll convert there. And we'll just go into his capital and, and basically put some pressure into that. That'll help relieve the regional pressure for us just a little bit. Convert that over. That should theoretically... Ah, oh, right, it did. That is negative 5.4. That's really good for us. And I'm going to go ahead... Make my way over this. It's going to take a little bit, but it's a pretty good spot for us to get into. Let's also get Researcher. want to get some extra tempo out of that. And I'm going to leave Reyna there for now because the, the benefit right now with the extra gold output is very, very powerful. So that's giving us a pretty good amount of gold in this city. I think it's, uh, yeah, 37 gold per in that city, 33. Yeah, it would actually lose us gold if we did that. So I'd rather keep that there. Samarkand. Um, that won't be a problem for much longer. So that's fine. We're up to 10. Good. So we're actually we're actually kind of competitive now. If I could pick up Gustav Eiffel, that actually would be really good. We're going to be getting that in 6 turns, so that's going to give us another couple of extra points per turn. Could use my long-term faith generation to snipe that. Go Heavy Cav. Put a bit into that. And, you know what? Let's do... We'll do that. See if that works. Heavy cavalry. Yep, that helps me. And that doesn't help with anything there, so that's fine. New potential land. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we are going to focus on neutralizing that governor. We want to try to do that. We're also going to start working on getting these religious pieces as well. I want to try to get basically a good spread of different religious pieces in the long term. So, Akataka doesn't have anything. Religious, please. Okay, this actually works. This is really, really good. Okay, so first thing we're going to do. Great works. Religious. Okay, Shaka and Teddy. First things first.
It's actually cheaper to go with Shaka than Teddy. That's actually really not bad. Boom, and boom. That's now themed. Cultural heritage just got boosted. That's massive. That's a big bonus right there. And we're now consistently back up to 160 culture per turn. That is a much needed boost. So cultural heritage is way over this way. That's a heck of a distance, but it's very, very good. Uh, very, very good for us to be working on because we can try to get heritage tourism right here. 100% tourism from great works of art and artifacts. Great works of art will help us. So we're getting there. Seven turns away from conservation. So we are really kind of making good inroads. And right I'm really quite happy. Uh, let's go ahead and get a market built. We will hard build the market. And then we will simply buy a gilded ball. We could also use another another art museum. No, I'm not doing that deal. But... see what I can get more out of. I would rather get raw gold there, that's better. gold there buy another art museum right there there we go and we're now at just under 180 culture per turn so we're starting to catch the ai we're, we're staying consistent they're growing as well it's not like they're not growing but we're definitely starting to to get there a little bit all right this is huge boom oh wow they invested even more into it yeah so that does help me get closer, but Dara. I mean, it's useful though. There's utility in that. The more science intervenes in warfare. It's military engineering. There's Niter. We'll go ahead and put a couple into this. Get Susan T back. Make our way over there. buy another uh, builder because I want to try to go ahead and get some more building done and then we can go ahead and pop that public works off. This looks pretty good. We're going to be finishing up in just a couple turns here. Just want to get a little bit more stuff done here and then we'll be getting ready to finish up. Uh, access to Niter. Oh, that? Honestly, that's a good spot for Niter. Once we get done with this city's development, we're going to go ahead and bring that builder over. I want to actually do that because getting this would be a good way to get passive, uh, passive strategic resources. I like that. Okay. We have 16 arrow score to go. 29 turns until Taj Mahal is done. So, ooh, the Chancery has actually got some nice yields, though. Uh, let's see here. That's 48 turns. 60 turns. If I chop that, put it down there, that would make this theater square really, really good. 
Um, I might actually do that. I could do that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Ooh, that's losing its loyalty again. I like the fact the city is so unstable with loyalty, because it's eventually going to be a city that I could just put Victor into and have a nice advanced city to work with. Which is kind of the goal. Oh, those are weak. I can actually attack those. Yeah, those are very weak. That's a strong one because of its uh, positioning, but this could work. Um, I would say a trade route. I don't really need a trade route there anymore. I'm going to move that to Akatakan because I want to go ahead and get a trade route further over. And then bring that. I should be able to finish the positional trade route to, uh, to Shaka. I think I should be able to do that now. Technically, I'm surprised we're not able to get over down to Kazugabu. I'm not sure why it's not letting us get that way. I mean, I can set up a trade out to Germany. That's not a problem, but I was trying to get over there. I would probably, I would probably need to set up something different here. So let me think for a moment. So let's see here. Um. Aquan would be good for gold. Uh, actually, that's an excellent one for gold. Let's we'll do that. Then what we'll do is we build anything here. Nope. It said no. We'll go to Thibis and we will go here. We will get rid of that. We'll kill that. And we will bring you over. All right. Get a Greco there. Now, with this position, what we're going to want to do is, especially here, we need to look for more. Uh, religious pieces that we can plug in here. So we're going to need to think about that. So let's go ahead and have a quick little look here. You've got another one and you've got another one. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead and do that. What we'll do is... Actually... I don't want that, but this is going to benefit me more in the long term, so I'm fine with that uh, because then we go, we can go to Teddy and a quick look here. Bring you and you over. Now we have another theme spot, and that's going to guarantee us even more, even more culture per turn. So that's just beautiful. All right, this is huge. That's a really, really good tempo for us. I have one charge left. And you best believe I'm using that one charge there. There we go. Even if that city's converting in its pressure... It's still good for me to have what I'm doing here. Five more turns. I'm hoping that goes in our favor. I really needed to. It'd be nice to. Data score is done. All right. Let's go ahead. Hard build that. And then we will get set up here. So let's get set up there. Got to check out that area.
looks good. And then what we could do is we'll first try to focus on getting population growth. So we're going to need to think about what we could work on. We're at just under 200 culture per turn, so that's actually pretty good. I would like more. So we're going to go ahead and just get another theater square set up. We're just going to try to focus on that for the time being. Next turn, get this other city going. And uh, we can actually get a lot of this infrastructure really built up in this little area here. And just having some small expansion cities, that's just allowing us to start really developing some pressure. Just going to be good for us. There we go. It's another sugar tile. Mass production got boosted. This is risky. I could, I could lose this, but I'm going to go for it. It's very risky. Industrialism got done here. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, that workshop's 780. We're just going to buy that because that's going to give us an even larger net increase. That'll bring us a bit more there. So that's good. Uh, university wouldn't hurt at this stage of the game, actually, so I'll go ahead and do that. Now... Actually, Hermitage would be a good one, because next turn I get Conservation. And then what we could do is, because we'll have Conservation, we could actually start setting up first getting a lot of builders. So I'm going to actually need to kind of work on my gold situation. And try to start buying a few of these builders because then I can start really getting this area developed. Because what I could do is basically this area right here, I can actually take the mine out and then basically set up a woods tile here. And then what will happen is once I buy the sanctuary eventually, this whole region right here, these two tiles obviously without, uh, without these two tiles, uh, we'll basically get a bunch more production, gold, and uh, science, I believe. So it's going to be pretty good. All right. We are doing pretty decently on amenities. I'm not really too worried. I haven't really needed to do a lot of entertainment complexes yet. Uh, but they're eventually going to be useful. So I would say there's not much that we could work on here throughout this region. Entertainment Complex wouldn't be bad, just specifically if we want to be trying to get some, uh, some culture, or not culture, but some uh, tourism, and maybe a couple of entities here and there. Alright. Now that we have this city set up, this is plenty of food growth to work with to start. Uh, we're going to go ahead and see here what we could work with. This all looks good. Another commercial hub wouldn't hurt. Commercial hubs wouldn't hurt. We're doing decently well on culture output, but commercial hubs would be a good way for us to push a little more tempo. We'll do that. It's going to bring us up to just under 202 culture per turn, so that's very, very good. And next turn, we're about to get Conservation. So this is actually going to be a very good turn for us. Oh, that's a big flood. Destroying All right, that's a, also a really good theater square there. We met a cod. Interesting. Okay. Oh, of course. 10 error score away from a normal age. So we're actually, this is becoming more attainable. What we'll do, though, is we're going to have a quick little look here. Now, that is potentially useful. If I set up some melee units, uh, that could be a good way to go against walls. So, what we'll have to do is we're going to need to look at our gold supply. How can we bolster our offers?
basically trying to get as much as I possibly can. Because the more of this material that I can get set up with, the better. So then, now that we have lots of gold, what we could do is, very simply put, we are going to as soon as you go here by a builder. Gonna go around parts of the map where we could use some appeal. Where the appeal is within reason, it just needs to be better. So we're gonna do that, and so that's going to help us kind of just push out a little bit more potential uh, tourism value. So it's gonna be the goal for us. What we need to do though is also kind of have a look around. Yeah, a bunch of. Uh, a bunch of woods tiles here would actually be really good for us. But it's going to be tricky to get set up there, so I'm going to have to wait a little bit. Okay. That looks fine. Getting its loyalty back. If we can get rid of that governor, that should fix the loyalty situation, because then we can focus on something different. Depending on if we get a lucky promotion or not. While we're at it, let's go ahead and do a couple things. We're going to go ahead and buy another builder. Buy a builder here. And... One more. So now we can get rid of the public works card. Don't really need that. Not for quite a while, basically. And then what we'll do is we can either put this card on, or I would say skyscrapers. That way, we try to push out Taj Mahal a little bit faster. That's also going to help Hermitage. That'll be good for us next era. Because then, next era, we can really start going into the mid to late game and make that push. Alright. Let's say it's almost time that we actually get started on pushing for a democracy. It's going to be a while from now, but a very good one. All right, with this progress this episode and really this stream, I just want to thank you all so much for watching. It's been a lot of fun. We have made some excellent progress in making this very cursed run uncursed and also potentially viable. Uh, we are starting to actually push out a little bit of pressure, and we are starting to look better. We have gone from dead last into one of the midfield now, for sure. So this is really good for us. We have quite a while from now until we can really start competing with Shaka for tourism, but we're getting it. I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed watching this, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Speed Demon out.